In this tutorial we're going to look at statistical analysis using the general linear model. What the GLM allows us to do is to fit a model to our data using all of our predictors, so all of our experimental conditions. And what it returns is an estimate for how well each predictor explains the variance and the time series at each voxel. We can also ask questions of the GLM by defining contrast between our predictors to see if one or a combination of two or more predictors explains the variance in the time series more so than other combinations. So to get started, the first thing we want to do is create our model. So we're going to analysis and general one your model single study. We'll be presented with this window. And we want to define what our predictors are. So if we right click on images in the left visual field, we'll get this boxcar function again. We want to apply the human dynamic response function to the boxcar function. Then we want to add our second predictor. So we right click images in right visual field, apply the HRF. Right click the images and both visual fields, apply the HRF, and we've done that. We want to save our design. So we'll save it as objects design matrix.stm and click go. And what we have overlaid on our slices are voxels that have exceeded some statistical threshold. So if we reduce our slices down to slice 7, we can see that there's a lot of pixels that have been highlighted. We also have this voxel beta plot. What this is shown is, is our, our beta values for each voxel or each region of interest. So we can see to what extent each predictor has a more significant effect. We can describe this as being a bit messy. So what we can do to fix this is go into analysis and click on overlay volume maps. And we can increase the cluster threshold to about six. And what this will do is it will get rid of points that are just approaching significance. So now that we have our GLM fitted to our data, uh, we want to ask the GLM some questions. So if we go into analysis, we can click on overlay general linear model. You can see on the left hand side here, we've got little boxes with plus marks in them. If we clear those away by double clicking, and if we, if we put across and images in the left visual field and click OK, what we'll be left with are points where that predictor explains the variance in the time course for each voxel. We can also look at how much two predictors explain the variance in the time course for each voxel by putting check marks in two of our predictors and clicking OK. And what you'll see is there's a lot of significant regions of interest in the right visual field and the left visual field for explaining both. We can also ask the GLM to show us regions where the activation for predictor 1 is significantly different from the activation for predictor 2. By having a cross for predictor 1 and a minus sign for predictor 2, if we hit OK, what we have are regions of activation that are significant for predictor 1 compared to predictor 2. So regions where predictor 1 is significantly different from predictor 2. If we were to have a plus sign for both images in LVF and RVF, and a minus sign for images in BVF, what we're seeing is shows regions where the activation for our first two predictors differ significantly for regions that are active for both visual fields and intuitively that shouldn't differ at all. So if we were to click OK, what we would see is all of our regions of activation disappear. So this concludes this part of the tutorial. And the next step we're going to look at detailed GLM analysis of regions of interest.